All right, so now let's implement uh, get method. Okay, it's gonna be very simple. So we go for the get method against E. It's gonna be against products. Okay. Uh, we will create a method called get products. Okay, so this is not for a specific product as in slash ID, but for the list of all the products. And for get, we don't want to have any specific middleware like body limit because get is not supposed to send us any size. All right, so that's fine. Okay, and uh, uh, I also need to include a new method for our interface. So let me just get the signature. So the method that I'm looking for is find. Okay, uh, let me just. Uh, get the signature from the collection.go and let me put it in the interface here okay and that's gonna be mongo.cursor okay uh, let me save this let me delete this line all right uh, save this as well let me get to Products. I think this should complain now because there is no method called get products and we're gonna create one just right now okay so we will have a method for product handler all right and the name of the method is get products okay it accepts uh, eco context and returns an error because it's a handler function all right uh, eventually what we want to send is json where we send uh, http dot status okay and we want to send a list of products now how do we get the products well we get the products by calling a method call or another private method called find products okay and we're gonna pass it uh, the context of course okay and we're gonna pass it the collection reference as well dbi face dot collection api all right and this is gonna return an error as well so i'm gonna handle it now this function we haven't created yet but we'll just get to it in a while if error is not equal to nil then we just return an error okay by the way uh, we need to have separate error handling this is not enough i mean this works and that's just fine but we need to have a proper error object and we'll, we'll get to that in some of our next sessions but for now, let's just uh, go ahead with this. Okay, so what I get is a list of products and I send them back, all right? Also, something that I missed in my previous session was I need to, I wanted to actually have them as ArrayRef, but I have them as printer, which is wrong, okay? Uh, because every time there's an error, we don't want to print it, we want to use ArrayRef method okay so that's fine as well all right okay and uh, now define let's just give this methods uh, method a comment it gets a list of products and now I have find products all right it accepts okay so I think this uh, here it should be context dot background so we are passing an instance of context right and we accept a context and yeah I think I did this the other way around so I think this would go in the method signature right and here I would actually pass the actual collection that is edge call all right and i return a slice of product okay and 
an error. All right. So first of all, define products as a slice of product. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to call collection and we want to call find the first argument is context the second argument is filter now we are doing a blank search so we are going to go with Besson Bison M and empty Bison M right we were gone through this in our previous sessions on MongoDB with operators okay uh, there are no specific options so there's no point of this what we get back is a cursor and error so let's get that so I have cursor and error and if error is not equal to nil, then I want to uh, print the error that I am unable to find the products. Okay, and I just want to give, I just want to print the exception object, error object, struct. Okay, and now when I get the cursor, cursor has this method called all. Okay, what all does is it accepts the context and it also accepts a pointer to the result where you want to uh, decode these uh, results into, right? So that object is our products variable. Okay, what it returns is an error, All right, So this is again pretty simple and uh, log unable to when there's an error uh, we just want to print unable to read the cursor all right and that is it uh, at this point then i'm ready to send back products and nil all right so hopefully this should be enough. I don't see, do I see any errors? I do see. I think uh, this is undefined log. Uh, all right, then what logs do you have? I think it is fedlf, printf. Okay, I think the problem is I am referring to the wrong log here. What I actually wanted to refer to was, uh, let me, let me tell you which log I wanted to use. Not this one that comes out of the box. I actually wanted to use the one that's, that's part of the eco package and that comes under the common module, okay? Gaumann. That's a good name. So I wanted to use that actually and when I save this now uh, the errors are gone. I don't know what this is complaining about. Okay. Uh, this time the error has been uh, there so we don't need to use it. Uh, what are you undefined? You're doing it again. Okay. Just a typo. And I think we are good. All right. So we wanted to use the log log are available in the Gaumann in, in the eco package itself. Okay. And as a matter of fact, there is something else you can do with the logger, and that is you can set the logging level and let me come back here and do it as well. So in the eco object that we create, there's this logger thing. Okay, and then there's this set level, all right, which accepts log level, all right. Now this log has to be um, uh, this has to be, let me just say, because it's actually using the wrong log here as well. So let me remove this as well and let me just have log here. Alright. Is it complaining? I don't think so. 
okay so we come here and we said error error as in this constant all right and that's it okay so we said the log level so uh, you can of course change it okay but this error is actually if you go here it is set to it is of type unsigned integer okay and then it's uh, it's set to what you call an enum so debug is is having a value of one then info is two one is three error four and so on right so they've got like five error levels ideally you want to have this kind of things configurable in the config object uh, but then you'll have to do the conversion here so if you go with something like log level okay and you can of course have something like string and then the default value would be something like debug right but then eventually you'll have to find a way to use this property into uh, this argument here by converting it to unsigned integer because that's what log level supports kind of seems like a little bit of work maybe we'll do it later but enough for this session right now okay uh, so that level is also set and hopefully we should be okay for running the application all right and let's see uh, let's do get and get products and we get a list of products nice now uh, next thing we'll do is we'll implement uh, the delete method and the get method against an ID so if you want to look up a particular product using an ID then that's what we want to do but uh, that's uh, let's do that and then we have the put method as well all right so let's get started with that